I am genuinely kid at Christmas excited right now. I guess this kind of is Christmas for marine biologists. <laughs> today is a very exciting day around our coasts in the Clyde because today is the lowest tide of the year. Now, we all know that the tide is caused by the gravitational force of the moon, which as it circles the globe, releases and pulls on the sea, causing it to go in and out twice a day. But at certain times of year, the moon is not alone. Sometimes the sun will align with the moon and together they will exert their gravitational force on the sea, causing the tide to go out way further than it normally would on an average day. These events are known as spring tides, and these spring tides are the best time of year to go rock pulling. There are so many weird and wonderful creatures living on our shores that become revealed during these low tides. So before I've even made it down to the water, there's already some incredible animals to see. Here we have the lovely barnacle. Barnacles are the unsung heroes of the intertidal world. Inside each dome is a small shrimp-like animal that has evolved to live life upside down. Their heads become stuck to the rock and they use their highly modified legs to waft in the water and catch particles of food. They also have the largest penis in relation to body size in the animal kingdom. Barnacles spend their entire adult life cemented to the rock so they can't move to find a mate, hence the evolution of the massive penis. When it comes to that time of year when they're feeling a little bit frisky, the penis will extend and start feeling around for as many mates as possible and inseminating them one by one. So I found everyone's favourite rock pool animal, a few common starfish. These guys are as weird as anything. So they have something called a hydrostatic skeleton. This means they don't actually have true bone. All of their movement is controlled simply by muscle and fluid, which they absorb from the surrounding seawater. So they do this really cool slash gross thing uh, when they feed. These guys specialise in bivalve mollusks, so things that live in two shells, like mussels, clams, scallops, that sort of thing. They wrap their arms around the shell and using strong suckers called tube feet, begin to prise it open. Once a crack appears, they eject their stomach into the shell, which begins digesting the meal externally. Once everything's liquid, they suck it all back in again. I have just found the best animal on the rocky shore. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the nudibranch, specifically a sea lemon. So nudibranch is basically just a posh word for sea slugs um, that have external gills. So nudibranch just translates in Latin to naked gills. They are absolutely the best kind of animal to find on the rocky shore. The diversity is amazing. We have plenty of species in the UK, but they can also be found in tropical waters as well, in all sorts of sizes, shapes, colours, patterns, some crawl, some swim. They are absolutely amazing. So 
so part of the reason they're so badass is because of their diet. They specialise in animals that stink, so things like jellyfish, anemones, coral, anything that belongs to the phylum Cnidarians, they go for. So not only are they kind of strong enough to withstand the bad sting from these animals, some of the Nidoprex species are actually capable of absorbing the toxins from the animal that they've eaten and using it for their own defence. It doesn't even stop there. Most Nidoprex are hermaphrodite. When it comes time to mate, a pair of slugs will line up next to each other, top and tail, and begin donating and receiving sperm at the same time. They then lay their eggs on a nearby rock in beautiful spiral patterns. Sometimes there might even be whole chains of nudibranchs, all inseminating each other up the line. So I've just found an absolute chunk of a sea urchin. Look at the size of that! Even though some people think sea urchins in the UK are not poisonous, they will not hurt you if you touch them. Obviously if you step on them with your feet it's probably going to be sore. But I think these guys are the loveliest little animals. So believe it or not they're actually related to starfish. So they have that same hydrostatic skeleton that starfish do, so no true bone, just muscle and fluid. And they do this absolutely adorable behaviour called patting. Urchins have the same tube feet suckers as starfish, which they use to grab hold of bits of shell, rock and seaweed. Eventually, almost their entire body becomes obscured by these so-called hats. Researchers suggested a variety of reasons for the behaviour. It might be to weigh them down in high current, it might be camouflage for predators. Some people also think they use it as sun protection. So it wouldn't be rock pooling without a crab species and I've just found one of our most common species that we get in the UK a lovely green shore crab. Now, the name is a little bit misleading because as you can see from this individual, it's not very green, but they will be a variety of colours depending on the environment that you find them in. So ones on rocky shores will be different to ones on sandy shores to different ones that are on shingle, that sort of thing. This is a lovely lady individual here, a lovely example of a shore crab. I know she's a lady because of a certain uh, structure on her abdomen. So if you look there, you can see there's this big leaf-shaped covering uh, on her abdomen. Now that is called her abdominal flap. So when a female crab is pregnant, that flap will come down and she will store thousands and thousands of eggs there, ready to develop before they hatch. Now, the bigger the flap, the more eggs they can store. Males, however, don't have, you know, they don't need a huge flap because they don't produce eggs. So they instead have a start sharp pointed triangle. For a wee country, Scotland has a staggering 18,000 kilometres of coastline, including all the islands, and there's some truly incredible species to see. So next time you're down by the coast, just have a wee rummage amongst the rocks. You might be surprised by what you find.